I want to introduce you to what I call the Jackson Family Method for making shredded wheat. I call this the Jackson Family Method because my mother taught me this and she was a Jackson and when I went to fix shredded wheat for my wife the first time and I got a skillet and I started boiling some water she was kind of freaked out she didn't know what she had gotten into and then when I was at my cousin's and they asked me if I wanted some shredded wheat, this was exactly what they did. Now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a skillet. Okay, so get a nice big skillet. You're gonna need some butter that's at room temperature. You're gonna need some white sugar, your big biscuit, shredded wheat, and a plate and a knife and fork. Now the first thing that we want to do is we're going to take this skillet and we're going to get it filled up with some water. Once the water is boiling or coming to a good simmer, here's what you want to do. You want to do it very quickly. You're going to take these two biscuits and you're going to put them in the water very quickly. You're going to take your fork and you're going to turn them over. You're going to turn both of them over. Then you're going to take them out of the water very quickly. Put them back on the plate that you had them on or that I had them on. And then you're simply going to take these and you're going to use your fork and you're going to pat them out like this. Now I'd let a little bit of it drain back. Okay, so you're just kind of making it into a huge, nice big bunch of hot shredded wheat. Now I'm going to take a little bit of butter. So I'm going to take some nice room temperature butter here. And I'm going to a couple pats here and there on the shredded wheat. Now I like to kind of mix it around a little. So you can put as much butter on there as you like. It's going to melt right away because of the heat of the shredded wheat. I like to kind of mix it around there if you can see that. There we go. Now the piece de resistance, we're going to take some white sugar and we're going to spread it either conservatively or liberally depending on how much you like sugar and sugar and butter. There's probably no better taste in the world. Probably nothing worse for you in some ways but there we go, you're ready to eat it. Now what my mom used to do for me is she would cut this up into little tiny squares. So she'd go like this. And then she'd go this way. So our little tiny squares. And then I always had great fun because you kind of make a little checker and you could eat out different pieces to make a little pattern. Mmm. It's wonderful. It's all nice and warm. The plate's all warm. So like I said, this is what I call the Jackson family recipe for making shredded wheat. Try it out. I think you'll agree it's the best way to do this.